Hey guys, this is Naresh. So till now what we have seen, whatever program which we are running is either on Chrome browser or Firefox or some other browser. But today we will talk about the browser which is called a headless browser. So what headless browser is? That the headless browser is a browser which does not have an UI. So you cannot see that browser in front of you, but it's still your scripts will get run on that browser. Okay, so there is a headless browser called HTML unit driver, which we will talk about. There are others also like uh, Phantom JS and other browsers which are headless. But today we will talk about the HTML unit driver. And the advantage of using the HTML unit driver is first of all, we don't have to import any separate jar for using this headless browser. Okay, and it is very fast. So let me create a program in which we are using an HTML uh, browser and running uh, the program on the HTML unit driver. Okay. And uh, before we do that, uh, sometime, uh, you know, we think that why we are not running everything on the headless browser, why we are running on Chrome and Firefox browser. And the reason is we are testing at the UI level and our user the end customers are testing on some browser so we want to replicate the same scenarios the same ui we want to see and through that we are checking the functionality so when we are testing at the ui level so either we are checking the functionality and with that we are also checking the ui that's the reason we always test it on the chrome and the firefox and the other browser okay because we want to simulate the real experience of the user all right, but sometimes there's a need in the project. When you're working on a project, you will know that sometime we have a need that we need to do something on the browser, but that is not, uh, you know, uh, related to the user. For example, sometime we need to create a data. Okay, create a data for the for the users. So if I remember in a, one of the project where I'm working, so in that project, one of the program was something like I need to hit one URL on a web browser. As soon as I hit that URL, I get one user data and I get that user data into my program and I create, uh, I run the program on that user data. Okay, you can say when I hit the URL, I get one ID and password on the screen. I read that ID and password on the screen and then I enter it into my pro into my program and then my program get run after that. So those things we don't require to do it into the actual browser. We can do that into our headless browsers. Okay, so let's see how we can use that. It's very simple. So let me create a new class. So I'm doing a right click. New and class okay and here i can give any name let me call this my browser i am checking this box public static void main and click on finish okay and because it's a headless browser i don't need to set any system dot set properties in that i can directly give web driver Okay, make it sure it's W E B and D in capitals. All right, web driver and then simple driver equal to new. So generally we give here like Chrome driver and Firefox driver, but I will give here HTML unit driver. So it would be HTML unit driver. So the first character in every word is a capital letter and there is no space between that so it's h as in capital html u is capital unit d is capital driver okay i hit on enter all right now if i move my mouse pointer here so it says import web driver and if i move my mouse pointer here it says change to web driver change to html unit driver Okay, so if you see mistake here, it's I have written HTLM and it should be HTML. Okay, so if you see, it's pointing to this library which is org.openq.selenium. So both are coming from this HTML driver also is coming from this, right? So once this is done, so that's it. My uh, the instantiation instantiation has been done for the driver object. I can simply go to driver get 
and I can just open any website here so let me go to Google so it's HTTPS okay www.google.com all right and once I am there I want to print its title and here I can give title is I put a double quote to end that I am clicking on the plus symbol so that I can concatenate and I'm concatenating it with driver dot get title all right so it's very small program I'm not writing anything else I'm just trying to go to the website print the title and you will see how it get run even without opening any browser okay it's running running and if you see my program is finished now so if you see that it is so fast as compared to the browser when I do it on the browser it take me like three to five seconds even to open it and then you know get the title and then print it but now because I'm using a headless browser it has done all the steps even without showing us a browser okay so this is one advantage but uh, don't try to run everything on the headless browser because that will not serve your purpose through because of which you have done the automation and you are doing uh, testing on the UI level and the, you are testing the functionality also at the UI level okay just use it whenever required in a project for example one of the example I have given you to either to create the data or either to do something else but not for a regular testing for regular testing please use the browsers which has we were practicing before all right thank you for watching if you like the video please hit on like button and subscribe thank you